Hey guys, in this episode I'm going to show you how to replace a hard drive that has either gone corrupt or um, gotten too small for your needs. So I actually already filmed this video, but I somehow deleted all the footage. So I'm going to try to best reenact it as possible. So I, I, I took the new hard drive out, out of the box, even though this is the old hard drive. And, and, and then I took the box and I threw it. And then I took the instructions which are on the floor already because I, I threw them. So I'm going to mimic the instructions with this Best Buy receipt. And I, and I threw those too. Alright, so you have the two cables. You have your uh, power cable and your, um, what's the name of it? Your cable that uh, moves all the data. And there's only one spot that each cable can plug into. So this is the new drive here. This down here, which is actually kind of out of frame for me. Ooh, too far. This down here is my um, a second drive that I have. Um, and when I put the when I bought the new drive, I actually upgraded to a. 2 terabyte instead of a 1 terabyte. So you can't even plug it in the wrong direction because it won't let you. Uh, with it's got these little nubs on it that um, control uh, which way you can plug it in. So you plug that in. Um, I've disconnected the secondary hard drive um, just because when I do reload the operating system since this was the drive uh, that had the operating system on it, um, and the old one crashed um, in in use, and, and you reload the operating system. So I'm going to disconnect the second drive so that it'll just read to the first drive, and it won't try to load the operating system. That won't try to load the operating system onto the second drive. All right, so I've got it all set back up. Everything's plugged in. I'm gonna hit the power button to turn it back on. Um, I'm also going to show you guys how to reinstall the operating system on it um, because I don't have an operating system right now. So I actually have a copy of Windows 7 um, because I don't want to go up to Windows 10 and um, I don't have a copy of Windows 8 available to me, so. So, it'll boot up, it says, um, insert a boot device and press any key. So this is going to be our boot media, which is the Windows 7 disk. Um, you can also get it on a thumb drive or something like that. Um, it doesn't have to be a disk. So now I'm going to move my USB mouse and keyboard back over. Hit enter. Hit enter. And um, choose options to start. Press tab tool to use and use arrow keys to choose. And there's only one. So set up windows. Enable downloading files. This could take a while. 
If it does, I will do a jump cut. So you don't have to sit here for an hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. Stop laughing over there. Hey, look, we have a Windows. Start starting Windows. And it looks like Windows. Another thing that I'll actually talk about while we're waiting for this is um, I actually got pretty lucky because I have a backup hard drive that is connected to this computer. So the only thing that I lost was um, the Windows operating system and any programs that were on the computer. The, the backup doesn't actually back up any of uh, the programs. But what I do still have is all my pictures. Um, I mean, I have wedding and honeymoon pictures on there. Um, all my, you know, resume and work documents and all that kind of stuff. So I very highly recommend buying a backup drive. Um, and I have mine back up once a week, but I'll occasionally even back it up more often than that if I've done something that I really want to make sure that I have. So here you basically pick uh, languages, what type of keyboard you have. So we're going to go English, US, next and install now. So now it's actually installing the Windows software off of the disk and onto the new hard drive. So who knows how long that's going to take. Alright, so I set it up. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but it actually, how I told you guys before, I disconnected the other hard drive. Turns out I didn't need to do that because um, it pops up and it says the hard drive size. Um, since one of my drives is two terabyte and one of my drives is one terabyte, I could have um, just kept it in, but I just connected it. So next, and it's thinking, now it's copying Windows files. So let's see how long this takes. It says 0%. Oh, 100. That was really fast. That now it's not going so fast though. So we're stuck here waiting. Alright guys, as you can see, it's still uh, pulling everything off the external hard drive, but I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. I also uh, am looking for ideas of what to do with the old hard drive. I'm thinking about maybe taking the top off and uh, showing everybody what the inside looks like and what it, uh, it you know, how it works. So, if you enjoyed this video, please comment and let me know. Um, if you didn't enjoy this video, please also comment and let me know. Um, wasn't planning on doing this video at all, but when I started everything to kind of reboot the channel, it uh, my hard drive crashed. So I figured, why not, for the first video, replace the hard drive. So, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. One more thing I forgot to say. When you're done with uh, putting everything back in and all that stuff. Don't forget to shut off your computer and reconnect your second drive if you have one like I did. Otherwise you won't be able to use it, which I've been fighting and trying to figure out and then remembered. Oh yeah, I have to reconnect the other drive. So, don't forget.